Hello everybody, welcome back to another Stickbot review. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the new Stickbot Christmas Crew Pack. This is a new Stickbot bundle that released fairly recently. I didn't get a chance to make a news video on it, but it's here right now, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is a fairly large box compared to some of the more recent Stickbot packaging, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have inside of it. This one has a ton of Stickbots from what I saw, and the first ones here are in this wrapping. We've got three whole Stickbots. We have this elf Stickbot, this red Stickbot with Santa's uh, shirt, and this Nutcracker Stickbot. And this is a big bundle. Whoa. This is awesome. Look at that. The snowman stick bot. This is way larger than I thought it was gonna be. We also got this uh, gold stick bot mini. Oh, he's got printing on this side. Okay. And in this bag, we've got the reindeer and another gingerbread man or woman stick bot. And whatever accessories are in this thing. Let's just dump these out and see what we got. Oh yeah. All of these are new Stickbot accessories, it looks like. Seeing a lot of pieces I've never seen before. Now that everything is out of the box, I need to assemble all of this. So let's do a time lapse. Here we go. All right, now that everything's assembled, you can see everything that's included with this set. And I gotta say, this is quite the cast of colorful characters in this set. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at them all. And to help us out, Green Clickbot is back for this one. Give it up, everybody. All right, let's kick this review off by looking at the snowman. The snowman here has some unique printing on its face and its body. And the body itself is made up of these new snowball pieces, which are pretty cool. Although the movement is limited, you can still move the torso side to side, and his head. The stick arms are also pretty limited, but you can mix it up with the body for more movement. This snowman also has a gigantic suction cup on the bottom, which can help keep it in place, and it's surprisingly strong too. The snowman's accessory is this top hat, which is made of a sturdy, rubber-like material, and that just slides on top of the head nice and snugly. This is by far one of the most unique stickbots released in a long time, so it's really cool to have. Next, let's take a look at the Nutcracker stickbot. The Nutcracker is a fairly simple stickbot. It has a white head, black torso and arms, and some red legs. There's no printing on the back of the stickbot, but there's some printing on the torso and a unique print for the mouth. You also get the Nutcracker's iconic hat, and it's the same material as all the other hats in this set. So, Mr. Nutcracker, can you crack this nut for me? Yes, sir. Phew! Your nut has been cracked! Great, thanks! That was the Nutcracker, now let's move on to the Reindeer! This reindeer comes in the metal bronze color, which looks great on it. It also has some movable legs, head, and tail. If you're having some deja vu right now, it's probably because the reindeer is based heavily on the stickbot horse. The key difference being the printing, and the new piece for the antlers and ears. Anything else is going to be the exact same as the Stickbot Horse. So that was the Stickbot Reindeer, now let's take a look at the Stickbot Gingerbread Men. These are essentially gold Stickbot Juniors with white suction cups, and they share the same torso printing, but have different printing for the faces. One for the Gingerbread Man, and one for the Gingerbread Woman, which has a bow and some lipstick. No printing on the back of these figures, but if you think about it, that actually makes sense, cause you wouldn't ice the back of a cookie, would you? The gingerbread woman has this red skirt accessory, which just goes on the back like this, and although it's a bit wide and small, I'm guessing that was done so that the legs could still be used in animation. So that was the gingerbread men, now let's take a look at the elf. The elf is a green stick bot with white suction cups and printing on the torso and legs. The printing also applies to the backside. One of the elf's special features are its ears, which are a new piece that's molded into its head. And these ears definitely help make the stick bot look more like an elf. What also helps is the size. It's the same size as the Stickbot Goblin, so that means it's shorter than the average Stickbot. What's great about this elf is that it has just as much movement as a normal Stickbot, and it's better than a Stickbot Junior for sure. The elf's accessories are this hat, which goes nicely around the ears, and this big old candy cane, which can be attached with the suction cup clips. So that was the elf, now let's move on to the final Stickbot, Santa Claus. Ho ho, hello everyone. 
As you can see, Santa is a red stick bot with white suction cups, with printing on the torso, and the back of the torso. Santa's accessory is this dual molded beard hat piece, which fits on his head easily like so, and I love the way it looks, it's very clean. Lastly, you also get two small presents in this set, which can be attached to the hands using the suction cup clip pieces. Hmm, these two stickbots seem familiar. A red stickbot Santa Claus and an elf with a candy cane. Now where have I seen that before? Hmm... Anyways, that's everything included in the Christmas Crew Pack. Now on to the final thoughts. Now I'm going to talk about my thoughts on this set, and right away, the sheer variety of Christmas-themed figures you get in this set is phenomenal. Pretty much any Christmas character that you can think of is in this set. Well, maybe except for Mrs. Claus or the Abominable Snowman, but we do get a regular snowman, which is cool. And the snowman in particular is quite the highlight of this set because of its body and those new snowball pieces that it uses. It really came out great in my opinion. I like the way it looks. And speaking of new pieces, I gotta hand it to them for how they made the reindeer. Taking the stick horse and simply adding antlers to the back piece was brilliant. And the same could be said with the elf and its ears. And I just love those little details that alongside the printing add up to make some amazing new stick bots. Another thing I really like about this set is the Santa and elf stick bots. How they feel like sort of nods to the characters I've created from the Christmas in Peril series and just the elf having the candy cane and Santa having a red face. It all feels kind of similar to my things, which I absolutely love because this means that you guys can make your own adventures with Santa and the elf stick bot, which is awesome. Me personally, I'll probably replace the Santa that I use with this new one. I'm not sure about the elf because he is shorter than the one that I use, but still cool additions nonetheless. The hats included in the set are all really nice as well. They all fit snugly, minus the elf one maybe. And the top hat in particular is going to be great for videos beyond Christmas. Now, if I had to give one nitpick about this set, it would probably be about the accessories. And for one, the presents feel a bit small, even for stickbot scale. Now, I get that they wanted to have the stickbots hold these in their hands. And if they were too big, they couldn't do that. But I don't know. Personally, I would have done the presents so that you could have an entire stick bot fit inside of one. And you could just take the top on and off and maybe include some little toys inside of it as well. And I know it costs more plastic to make a giant present and some toys. And these stick bots are already eating up some of that plastic cost. But I think it would have been a fun addition if they had something like that in this set. And moving on to the candy cane, it is a good piece. I like the shape of it. It's pretty big. But my one nitpick is it's not multicolored. It's only plain white. And I know it's such a nitpick, but when you look at this set, all of the other accessories have at least two colors in them, except for this candy cane. Why is this candy cane the exception? It is such a nitpick. I can color the candy cane myself, but yeah, it's just a nitpick. But anyways, for $33.99, this is definitely one of the more expensive StickBot sets recently released. But considering all the special accessories and details you get in this set, it's a worthwhile price in my opinion. So for that reason, I give this set my seal of approval. And if you want to get this set for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon and the Zing store where you can buy this and pick this up for yourself and start making some videos with them. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. And if you made it till the end, be sure to leave a like and comment down below which one of these new stick bots is your favorite. Also, be sure to subscribe because next month I'm going to be reviewing the StickBot Advent Calendar one day at a time. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video.